Yeah, take this stuff over here. Getting ripped off at a used car lot is certainly not earth-shattering news. It happens every day to lots of people. But when it happens to a man like 75-year-old Jack Clemens, a man already fighting a life-and-death battle with stage 4 cancer, it's enough to make your blood boil. Stage 4 liver cancer means that he has a very likely chance of passing away. And we need to fight this as aggressively as we can to keep him alive. Two weeks ago, the owners of this used car lot repossessed Jack's 2004 Chevy Malibu because his monthly payment was late. Not days late, minutes. How late was your dad's payment? 15 minutes. They told me that the payment was 15 minutes late and that constitutes a day and their contract says that they can snatch the car with, with one to three day late payment. 15 minutes late and they could take it? Yes. The sickening part is that car was Jack's only way of getting to the doctor and of getting to his weekly chemotherapy treatments. It's so important because um, we, we have to fight the cancer. We need to get these treatments so he can stay alive. Realizing not getting to the doctor could put her father in a life-threatening position, that's when Janet Clemens called the Call for Action team. I quickly learned the credit company responsible for repoing Jack's car refused to return it without a payment of $300 cash. And so this afternoon... Janet, the only way I can really take care of this problem is to just pay this company what they want, and that's about 300 bucks. and so there you go, that's $300 in cash. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Just a couple of hours ago, Janet took that money to the impound lot where Jack's car is being held, which means he'll be getting his car back. Come Friday. My only income is Social Security right now, so I had to quit my job. Uh, I really, uh, I really could appreciate the help. Now, I told you we would get Jack's car back in tomorrow. He will be picking up his car from that car lot. It is in Flat Rock, Michigan. And as you just saw, all it took was 300 bucks to pay the late fee, but it's 300 bucks more than Jack could ever come up with. Tonight, I want to thank Dean Stanton of Diversified Wire and Cable for giving us that $300 so Jack could get his transportation back. I'm Bill Spencer, the Call for Action Team.